Hi, this is Risa, your stitch buddy. Welcome to my stitch along series. I'll be stitching a beautiful PDF pattern of Rue Riemu, which I bought from Charles and Ellen's website, link provided below. I had also recently completed a book review of their lovely book titled Mindful Embroidery, which covers a series of beautiful modern architecture embroidery patterns which I encourage you to watch by clicking on the link above. Now, this is the pattern or the PDF pattern I bought online and you can get many more PDF patterns on their website as you can see scrolling up to your left of the screen. What I did was I traced the pattern using heat erasable pen because it's much easier to then erase it once you iron after embroidering. So I'm going to start embroidering with a single black thread using back stitch as per the instructions in the pattern guide. This is the first Charles and Ellen design pattern that I'm stitching and I'm really excited about completing it. I love the modern architectural embroidery take. It's the first that I've seen in the market. A lot of their designs use very simple stitches like back stitch, split stitch, uh, straight stitches, and in some cases with other patterns, uh, French knots. So I'm not going to go and provide an ongoing commentary like I do with my other stitch alongs as pretty much the stitch uh, that I'll be using here in this pattern is back stitch predominantly and for the balconies I'm going to use my own stitch um, and that would be a fly stitch. I've provided chapter links to all the different stages of the stitch along which you can refer to and skip to as you progress in stitching this design. As you saw with the completed embroidery piece at the beginning of this video, I made this design my own by using autumn colors or fall colors for the leaves of the trees and you can do the same if you would like uh, by skipping to the chapter on trees in this video.
as mentioned earlier, I'm going to use fly stitch to stitch the balconies for this design, which is a bit different from the instructions in the stitch guide. Uh, and essentially what you do is uh, you take out the thread on one end, insert it uh, a bit of a distance, and then at the center you pull the two threads in a V sort of format. So essentially take out the thread on one end, insert it a bit of a distance away, and in the center you attach that by inserting the needle in the middle. So you get sort of a V look here and it's really easy to do and you sort of get a balcony pattern when you embroider. And in the center, all I'm doing is a straight stitch in the form of a T. Of course, you can use your own imagination on how you want to embroider the balconies. But this is what I'm doing for my embroidery piece.
embroider the trees, I am using woolen floss that I bought on Etsy and I'm providing the link below and I'm really excited to use these uh, shades of woolen floss and I'm hoping it'll give a little bit more profile for the trees. So I'm going to start with the back tree here and uh, essentially Ellen and Charles's PDF pattern stitch guide mentions uh, stitching the leaves in sort of like a tent format where you insert three straight stitches in a V like so. Uh, so essentially, you know, stitch one stitch in the center and then two stitches from the side. So you get a little bit of a V shape to represent the leaves. Here's a completed embroidery piece with autumn leaves. I hope you like it. Don't forget to click on the subscribe, like and notification buttons. See you again next time. Bye bye.